Hey everyone, this is Chris, sometimes known as LOTR Deck Tech, bringing you a bonus video with my last deck. Uh, because I wanted to play around with my uh, overlay settings and a webcam now that I've got a uh, green screen behind me. I mean, I'm going to point at it even though you can't see it. <laughs> and I'm going to go up against the Waste of Eriador one more time. Uh, maybe in this attempt I will not make the rule goofs that I made before. This might take a little bit though. Uh, my opening hand looks cool and I got approximately the best treachery at the start of the game because it allows me to blank Glorfindel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, uh, well, first things first, I am still gonna play a Light of Valinor on Glorfindel because it will allow me to have him ready to attack. I'm gonna use this Falco Boffin resource to heed the dream. I'm really looking for something good to fire in the early turns. Yeah, I will take that sneak attack because that will let me draw cards for very few resources. I think I'm gonna save this Theodred resource though until I need it. And we're just gonna quest. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Committed to the quest right away. Nothing in the staging area. Well, glad to see that one out before we have any side quests. All right, Eridor wastes in the staging area means we will make five total progress, which is just enough to clear the shrouded hills. I cannot travel to Eridor wastes, so we're just done. Oh, and I forgot to put the theater resource on Falco Boffin. So, refresh. End of the round, we will f we will flip to nighttime, which raises my threat by one and reveals an additional location. I'm okay with that, actually. So, on to round number two, where it is night. Oh, and I wish I had drawn this just a little bit earlier. But that's okay, uh, we will put Asphaloth on Gorfindel. Will probably help us clear Eridor Wastes relatively quickly, uh, especially because we can't travel to it right now. Hmm, I don't have anything to do with this spirit resource, and I want to save one of these. Okay, uh, I'm basically just going to commit everyone to the quest again, putting the resource on Falco Boffin one more time. So this is currently six up against five in the staging area, so I will probably be raising my threat. We reveal. Okay. Doom two and fetch a side quest. Uh, Doom two and reveal a side quest. Lovely. I know there's only two options because I've done this quest too many times. Make camp. And Lost in the Wilderness. I think I'm going to pick Lost in the Wilderness. It's going to cost me my hand, which is a little unfortunate, uh, but I will be able to rebuild relatively quickly after this, and it's not going to surge into another encounter card that could potentially be bad. So, I sent... Six to the quest, up against five in the staging area. Means I would make one progress, except it's nighttime. Might as well uh, ask Falloth to put two progress on the area or wastes. Travel to the rugged country. And move on to the next round. Uh, we refresh. We flip to daytime. And all of the no enemies pop back to the staging area. Just Quick Beam is pretty good right now, so I will play him. Comes into play with a damage on him. And what I really want this round is to clear Lost in the Wilderness. Because I don't want that quest to stay here any longer than it has to. So, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
uh, targeting lost in the wilderness. We get... Choose, find a warg enemy, add it to the staging area, or... Yeah, let me grab a warg. I don't really want to get rid of quick beam. Of my warg options, reveal it so the surge would happen. Uh, let me take one of these because of that extra shadow effect or extra attack. So, up against five in the staging area, my 11 is six progress. So first things first, let's ask Falaf to put two on Rugged Country, which means that we will go one, one, two, three, four, five. Lost in the Wilderness is now in the victory display. All those cards come back to my hand. Uh, I forgot this Theodred resource, which I would have put on Falco again. This is cleared. Do I want to travel to this? I think I do. I have six attack if I can defend with a Gandalf. So let's travel to Eriador Wastes. It forces me to engage this Northern Warg and give it a shadow. The beginning of combat, it gets a second shadow. And then I can sneak attack. Drop a Gandalf in play and draw three cards. One, two, three. Second sneak attack, very nice. All right, Gandalf will defend the Northern Warg. It's gonna make an extra attack and do a damage to Gandalf. Hmm. Do I use another sneak attack right now as effectively a feint? Or do I risk it and take this undefended? Let's sneak attack to put Bayorn into play. So, Baron can defend this one. Attacking enemy gets plus one, and now I'm really glad I did not take that undefended. Three, six, kills the Warg. And at the end of combat, both Gandalf and Bayorn will come back to my hand. A little pricey, but not too bad. All right, refresh. Flip to nighttime, raise my threat, reveal an encounter card. It's another warg. Hmm. That's not so bad. And we are on to the next round. I'm gonna play a Warden of Healing. One, two, three, for a Kelduin Traveler. Allows me to look at this card. It's a location, it's going to be three threat. That's fine. I, I have no problems with that. So, a three threat location is about to come out, which means we will be up against five. I wanna make three progress. I could just make one progress. Perfect. So I'll just send my heroes, that is six willpower. I reveal North Downs, which is currently three threat. Five in the staging area means I will make one progress. Asphaloth will put on two more progress to clear out the area door wastes. I will travel to North Downs. And I am going to optionally engage this Northern Warg. Amarthio will defend the attack. Attacking enemy gets plus two, means he takes two damage. And I have three six, which is more than enough to kill the Northern Warg. And I forgot my Theodore resource again, uh, which based on this hand will still go on Falco Boffin. Now I will heal Marthial and Quick Beam. So we refresh, flip to daytime, and move on to the next round. This location is now one threat, though it mostly does not matter. I'm gonna spend one for a Heed the Dream. Look at the top five. Yeah, give me Treebeard. One, two, three, four. 
Treebeard coming in exhausted. And this round, I want to make progress. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 committed to the quest. We are up against nothing in the staging area. All right, up against four, I will make nine progress. Asphaloth will put two here first. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are still a ways away, but not that far. Um, what would I need four to kill this wolf of Angmar? This is at engagement cost 38 and won't be for much longer. Uh, yeah, let me optionally engage this wolf of Angmar. I'm gonna take its attack undefended because that two damage is not really so bad. Uh, sorry, let me put that two damage on Glorfindel actually because I would really prefer Theodrid not be blanked. And I have six available to fight back. Killing the wolf. Warden of Healing will heal Gorfindel and Marthiel. Okay. We're doing all right. We refresh. Flip to nighttime. Raise my threat. Reveal an encounter card. That's a bit of a bummer. I'll deal with it, though. And we move on to the next round. Okay, Council is nice, but probably irrelevant. Uh, Treebeard has a resource on him. Forgot my Theodred resource last round, so I should have five regardless of where I put it, which will allow me to casually drop a Gandalf. And I'm gonna choose to deal four damage. Am I? No, I'm going to draw three cards. Okay, I can. Darren's runes, one, two. Uh, getting rid of this extra Asphaloth. Surprised I haven't found Steward yet, but that shouldn't be a big problem. We are up against five in the staging area, which I expect is going to turn into eight or nine. So let me two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine committed to the quest, dropping my threat down to 26. Uh, and if it's a small location, I might be able to clear it out. It's not. So three, four, five, six, seven, I would make two progress, but it gets absorbed. As Faloth can put two on Rugged Country before I travel there. And now I am forced to engage the White Warg, uh, but the hunting pack is way safe. So let's put that two damage on Gandalf, who's going to go away. I will have Gandalf defend the White Warg. That is not what I meant to do. White Warg gets a shadow. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so Gandalf is totally fine. And four, seven is enough to kill the White Warg. Forgot my Theodred resource again, uh, which will be on Falco. So, refresh. Gandalf gets discarded at the end of the round because I paid full price for him. We flip to daytime, and this Warg stays in the staging area. Still no steward of Gondor, but I can put an elf stone on rugged country. Immediately pop it, one, two, which allows Bayorn to come into play. And I have sneak attack for Gandalf, so that's good. Uh, let's quest. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's probably not enough to clear this round, but I'm okay with that because my threat is still pretty low. And Sudden Darkness flips it to nighttime. So my willpower goes way down. 
down by three, and I can't make any progress. Unfortunately, flip to nighttime, which raises my threat and reveals an encounter card. Doomed 2, find a side quest. Make camp, close and shuffle, which surges to a northern warg. So, all right, my 10 willpower is now up against four, five, six, seven in the staging area. I still can't make progress because it's nighttime and I can't heal any characters. Not terribly disappointed about that. Okay, I have to engage the Northern Warg. Do I want to optionally engage the hunting party? I think I do. I'm going to optionally engage the hunting party. Northern Warg comes down. Shadow. I will play my third sneak attack. Putting Gandalf into play. I can defend two attacks. Swing back. Seven. A bunch there. I'm just going to kill this Northern Warg. Two, three, four. No shadow effect worth mentioning, but that's okay. Gandalf will defend the hunting pack. Also not a shadow effect worth mentioning. So Gandalf takes two damage, and I have three, six, ten, thirteen. More than enough to demolish the hunting pack. So now all I really have to do is clear a whole bunch more questing in the next round. So let's refresh. Uh, Gandalf should be back in my hand because that was sneak attack. Flip to daytime. And move on to the next round. Darren's runes, one, two. Uh, discard an extra rod of the steward. Uh, Darren's runes, one, two. Let me discard from here. Rivendell Scout is by far the least useful of the secrecy cards in the deck. Uh, I want to get Falco Bothan up to Furial resources, so we're going to work on that right now. And it's daytime, so I can make progress. Quest 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to put the resource on Falco, and we're going to quest against Make Camp. So, our encounter card is the Warg's Den. 13 against 4 is 9 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we add Make Camp to the victory display. I will travel to the Warg's Den, which means that I am forced to go looking for a Warg enemy. Uh, there's only one left. No, there's three left in the encounter deck. Let me take out this Bloodthirsty Warg. It doesn't have an engagement effect, and should be pretty easy to deal with, so. Oh, I forgot. Uh, when I cleared that quest, I got to heal the character, so one, two. Yeah, uh, Shadow, Bloodthirsty Warg. I think I'm gonna defend this with Bayorn because he has the most hit points. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so Bayern will take two damage. And I need seven to kite back, so here's four and three. Warden of Healing can heal one damage. And then we refresh. Flip to nighttime, raise my threat, reveal a card. That's totally the wrong token. One, two, three. North Downs is a three threat location. Ooh. All right, can deal with that. Uh, Treebeard should have an extra resource. So since it's nighttime, I basically just wanna make enough progress to clear the Warg Den. So we're gonna send two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Basically anything I get here will clear that. Okay, that's just Doom 2. 
I will make the one progress that the Warg's Den requires. Might as well put two on North Downs and travel to it. Nothing to fight, so let's just heal up Bayorn. Forgot my Theodore resource again, uh, which is going to go on Glorfindel. So that next round I can play two Harad allies. Refresh. Flip to daytime. On to the next round. That's a pretty good one. One, two, three, four, five. Bear. One, two, three, four, five. Ferial. And next round, I will be able to air restore. Oh, I don't know how good that will be. Uh, Treebeard should have one more yet again. Now let's quest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Up against nothing in the staging area. Uh, hunting pack, I will take. 100%. So, my 16 up against 3, and I can Asphaloth to clear this location, means I will make 13 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ignore that. We are done with Across the Wastes. So, that treachery is now gone. Shuffle into the deck, discard until you get a Warg. Yeah. Alright. Not a warg. Not a warg. There's a warg. These wargs are not revealed, so no surge, thankfully. And we move on to this round where I have to lose allies. I am not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Uh, Theodred Resource is gonna go on. Go Boffin for this round. <sighs> Alright. I can deal with this. Yep, I will live. So, uh, it's daytime, but I can still engage enemies. Let me take this hunting pack because it's more threat. Um, no, uh, six attack is big. Baron will defend. Okay, uh, there aren't any wargs in the shade in the discard pile, so that's actually the best time for that treachery, or shadow effect. Baron will take one, two, three points of damage, and what two, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve is enough to kill the hunting pack. Warden of Healing will heal one damage off of Baorn. And that's really all I can do. So we refresh, flip to nighttime, uh, which no longer causes my threat to go up, but does reveal an encounter card and discard an ally. I'm gonna get rid of this Kelduin Traveler because I think it is the least valuable right now. And this would discard Bayorn or force me to get a Warg and reveal it. So let's, let's grab a Warg. Shuffled all these back in so I can easily grab one of those. And we are on to the next round. What did I draw? It's not a bad thing to draw. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four is an air store. I'm not gonna get to them, so let me discard this resourceful to air store to draw another card. Kind of a garbage one, but okay. I'm going to want to play this Kelduin Traveler next round. So let's quest. I'm going to send six, nine to the quest. Uh, so I can discard whatever the top card is if I really don't want it. I'm going to put this resource on Gorfindel. First card is a White Warg. Which, out of all my options, is probably the best. So yeah, great, I'll take that. Uh, five in the staging area up against my nine, so I make no progress. 
And I have to engage all these enemies. One, two, three. Uh, the White Warg is going to do two damage to a character, which I will put on Aristor. We get all these shadows. Uh, first things first, Jubert is going to defend this Wolf of Angmar and discard this shadow effect. Thankfully. He takes one damage, but that's not so bad. Uh, Treebeard is going to defend this White Warg and spend two resources to ready immediately. Exhaust a character I control. That can be Aristor for sure. And he takes no damage from that attack. And this Northern Warg, Treebeard, will defend again and ready. It's an immediate attack again. Well, let's have Treebeard do it one more time. One attachment for each quest card in play. Uh, that can be Asphaloth. I can replace it. So, no damage coming in, except for that one that we took means it is time to fight back. Here's four, which kills the Wolf of Angmar. I need six to kill the White Warg. And six is more than enough to kill this Northern Warg. And now we do some healing. One, two. And we are very thankful that Treebeard had all those resources built up. Okay, uh, next round. We're going to refresh, flip to daytime, draw one card. That's still not a good one. And move on to the next round. One, two, three is a Kelduin Traveler, which allows me to look at this card. That's just going to be doomed to. There are no more side quests left. So that card does nothing which is great. All right, one, two, let me put an Asphaloth back into play. I won't be able to do anything with it, but that's all right. I think I may have overcounted willpower the last time it was, uh, no, because we weren't on this quest. Ignore me. And I know there aren't gonna be any enemies this round, so I can basically just quest all out Except when the pack leader goes into play. Pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. Right, I remember as soon as we clear this, it immediately flips to nighttime on the next quest, which will force me to deal with the pack leader nonsense. So let's not clear this round, but I don't want to do too many more night times. Uh, and I forgot to heal last round, I think, but I'll deal with that later. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, except I'll send this Kelduin Traveler instead. So, thirteen, committed to the quest, we get Pressing Needs, which is doomed to. Shuffle the encounter deck, because there aren't any side quests left, and there aren't any side quests in play, so it does nothing. I will make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 progress. <sighs> Warden of Healing is going to heal two of my characters. Uh, Treebeard should have a resource. Theodrid should also have a resource from himself on the off chance that maybe we draw Steward of Gondor eventually. Uh, we're getting pretty late in the deck for that though, so I don't think it's gonna make a difference. I'll be able to play a Rivendell Scout to lose next round. If we, uh, well, I guess we probably won't stay at nightfall too much longer. Anyways, refresh. Flip to nighttime, which is gonna cost me one ally and reveal an encounter card. North Downs is like the best of the options. And we're on to the next round. Song of Wisdom, you do basically nothing right now. 
might as well play a Rivendell Scout. I think I'm just going to save for Gandalf next round. I don't have any more sneak attacks, just having the body in play would be useful. Um, I will discard Song of Wisdom to draw a card. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Uh, yep, still probably too late, but that's okay. All right, nighttime questing. I'm going to send six, nine. Mostly because I want to be able to say no to the first encounter card. Grab a warg, add it to the staging area. That's fine. I will happily get a warg. Rather than discard Bayorn. Uh, where are you? Extra attack warg. And you are revealed, so that is a three threat warg. I would make three progress, but I can't. So Asphaloth puts two on North Downs. We travel to it. I will optionally engage this Northern warg. Don't have to optionally do it, but I can. Uh, Jubair will defend and discard this shadow effect. And we'd just absolutely crush this Northern warg. Heal up, air store, and move on to the next round. This is, oops, sorry. Yeah, this flips to daytime, draws me a Faramir. Hmm, okay. Treebeard has an extra, which is good. I might as well. One, two, Steward of Gondor. Put those two resources back. Uh, Rod of the Steward will allow me to draw cards if I want them. Yeah, let me put an Elf Stone on North Downs. Which allow me to put Faramir into play basically for free. And I can do one, two, three, four, five to play a Gandalf drawing me three cards. Oh, that one's pretty nice. Uh, okay, I need to make four progress this round. So, two, three, uh, put the resource on himself. Six. Seven, eight. Eleven. Up against nothing in the staging area. Right, well, I will play Elrond's Council to make it 12. And drop my threat to 39. Reveal a uh, North Downs. So, my 12 willpower up against 1 in the staging area is going to make 11 progress. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, North Downs is gone. Elfstone allows me to put a Faramir in play for free. And we are on to stage 3. We flip to Nightfall, which reveals an encounter card. Fine. Shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. And I discard until I reveal one warg? No, no wargs. That's fine. Flip this over. And the pack leader is at is the staging area. I think that was actually on this side. Yeah. Yeah, that's on this side. So. We just have the pack leader to deal with, and these locations, which are really not bad at all. Uh, let me travel to North Downs. Uh, I can put two on it with Asphaloth. And the pack leader is going to engage. I can't damage him yet because it's nighttime. So. Shadow effect. Uh, he is unique, which means that Jubair cannot discard his shadow. And I am forced to exhaust a character for each warg enemy, uh, which will be Rivendell Scout. Bayorn is going to defend this attack. He has the most hit points. I have to discard one attachment, which at this point... Oof. Which of these is the least valuable? Uh, let's get rid of the Rod of the Steward. I have nine cards left in my deck. It's fine. 
So, five against three defense is two damage. And like I said, I can't fight back, so I might as well just heal Bayorn. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I defend with Bayorn? There was a Gandalf in play who would have taken one damage. And because he's about to be discarded, no big deal. So, refresh. Flip to daytime. When it becomes day, discard all progress. No big deal. Pack leader is back in the staging area. Gandalf is gone. And we move on to the next round. Got two more resources on Theodrid. One, two, three, four, five. Let me play a Gandalf. And at this point, I believe I'm going to... Screw it, I'm gonna draw cards. One, two, three. Such unimportant cards, but that's okay. Can't even play a Warden of Healing this round. Uh, Tribute has one more of these and that's all right. So I need to make five progress total. It's currently six in the staging area. So two, three, four, five, six. I'll put that there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve right now up against six. So I'll probably make three progress. Uh, but I can farm your boost. Yeah, all right. So we're going to send that 12. Okay. I have to assign 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 damage amongst characters committed to the quest. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sure, 6. That will be 6 progress, but Asphaloth does 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what's the deal? Can't take damage unless there's at least five progress tokens, and I can't optionally engage him, so I have to wait until the next round. So I might as well travel to the rugged country. Heal up a little bit of this damage. One, two. Uh, I can discard a Light of Alinor to draw a card, thanks to Aristor. And let's refresh. Flip to nighttime, which reveals an encounter card. Just Doomed 2 is fine by me. So, all I have to do now is survive this round and kill the pack leader, and we're good. <laughs> three cards left in my deck. I have all three timely aids. <laughs> Not enough resources to use them. But one, two, I will play a <laughs> Warden of Healing. Uh, let me actually heed the dream just for fun. Okay, there's no allies left in my deck. I should have known that. So no point in saving for a timely aid. Um, I'll just draw the first one of those because it's completely irrelevant. Discard one to Aristor to draw another card. <laughs> Which is good. It's a good card right now. I'm, I'm done, honestly, playing these cards. It doesn't do anything for me. Gandalf should have been gone. So, right now we got four in the staging area. It'll probably be seven or eight. So let me send six, uh, nine. So I can refuse this card if I don't want it. North Downs, totally fine. One, two, three threat. So I sent nine up against seven is two progress. I can use Asphaloth to clear out Rugged Country. Travel to North Downs. And engage this pack leader. I am forced to exhaust a character, so goodbye, Rivendell Scout. You are not very useful. Five attacks, so let's defend with Bayorn. Attacking enemy gets plus two. So Bayorn is gonna take four damage. One, two, three, four. 
And let's see if I have enough to kill the pack leader. Three, six, nine, 13, 14, 15, 16, which is enough to put 12 damage on him, sending him to the victory display, and hopefully an actually correct victory against Wastes of Eriador. I got five progress, didn't make progress when it was nighttime, didn't optionally engage the Warg pack leader during the day. Oh, and I probably missed a trigger, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, everyone, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of this overlay in the comments or on Twitter, Discord, whatever. Thanks.